welcome. So, today I'm going to build another table saw set. It's going to be built out of everything but wood. I, I don't care. As long as there's no wood involved, I'm happy. So I already have some pieces lined up. The, um, tr the tracks that it's going to ride on, the rails, are going to be aluminum. The base that it sits on, the main big platform, it's going to be half inch thick plexiglass. And the fence itself is going to be an inch and a half thick plexiglass. Alright, so today I'm going to build a table saw set. I have some pieces I have laying around. So, the first thing that got me started is I have this piece of bulletproof glass here. It's inch and a half thick by about two and three quarters inch tall or so. This is actually bulletproofing. I have chunks of plexiglass just like this. These are some of the pieces, or this is the piece, I have one more, that I can use for the base of this sled that I'm going to build. So you can see it's half inch thick, all right. It has uh, some sort of a layer, I guess, a coating, a protective layer to, to protect the actual plastic from being damaged. But on this side, the opposite side, it has a white layer over a red layer. Now that red layer is supposed to be permanent. Um, I'm going to try to peel that red off. Here's what it looks like if you get down close to it. So it's a white, it's a white protective coating over this red. Here's the aluminum piece, the channel piece that I told you that's going to go inside the groove. Let's go take a look at this and uh, we'll see how this fits. I'll show you how tight it fits. It's not a big deal. All right, you can see that this channel is in here really tight. It's already lower than the, um, the height of the top of the table. So this is so perfect. I'm gonna to have to go through my pieces here, these two big chunks, and figure out which one's the squares. So what I have to do is figure out which one has a straight edge on it, maybe from the factory. And I can take that factory piece and start with that. I'm probably gonna to have to, uh, I'll probably route the ends, I don't know, and start from there. We'll see what we got. All right, so using this big chunk of wood right here as my straight edge or guide, I have this piece that I'm gonna cut, clamp to it. What I'm gonna do is run the router down the edge right here and just straighten up the edge. I have the router set up with a bottom bearing bit so this will just make it really easy. Alright, so I got the edge routed. It's pretty clean now. Nice and straight. I'm trying to figure out how wide I want to go here. Um, I guess I'm just going to go with the width of the actual tail saw. Just going to keep it simple and stop overthinking things and just make it the width of the actual top. Just to keep it simple, otherwise I'll debate that for hours and waste too much time thinking. So here's the cut that I'm gonna make. This is the piece that I wanna save. This is the piece that I'll, I'll save for a future project. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm measuring the thickness of the glass. That way I have, I'm gonna have, I wanna have two inches here in the front. Then it's gonna be the thickness of the glass. I have a center section here where the blade's gonna go and I laid out where the fence is gonna be. And so I'm trying to figure out how long I want these to go. If I make these rails, the guys or whatever you wanna call them, longer, when I bring this back like this, Flush. If I go like this, if I have it flush, then I'm only limited to how far back I go because it's going to fall out. So my piece, I'd be able to cut a longer piece if I make it stick out. This is exaggerating probably, but let's say I did have it this long, I would be able to make a longer cut and it would be locked in. I'm going to cut this fence right here flush with the edge of the deck of the actual um, slide itself. So after doing some measuring and rethinking, this is the piece that I have. I'm almost going to cut it directly in half, but I'm going to go, I'm going to um, let these extend past 8 inches. Oh, 
Okay, so now that I made it this far, where the center of this track is in the front, I'll put a mark and a circle. And over here in the center, I'll put a mark. Then I'm going to take a straight edge and I'll connect those lines. Okay, so I'm going 2 and 15 sixteenths for every, these are going to be the, um, I don't know what I'm going to put here, bolts, some screws, I'm not really sure. 2 and 15 sixteenths. So it's equal spaces. From the fence, I'm, well from the edge I'm an inch in, from here I'm an inch in. From the fence, I'm an inch in. Then it's 2 and 15, 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 and 2 and 15. All the way down the line. So it's all equal. Okay, so I have, this is a sample piece of some of that plexiglass that I'm using uh, for the deck. So this is what it looks like with some of the red and without some of the red. Now it's kind of stuck on there. I'm gonna take the heat gun and see if, see if this will um, help to um, take it off basically so I can make it clear. The red does kind of look cool, but I don't know, so it's clear. So I'm just gonna look and I'll make the decision. If it's easy to come off, I'll have to think about it because I could always take it off later, but I can't, I can't just add it. So this is what I'll have. This is gonna be the top of the sled. And of course, this is the bottom where it's smooth. So red will look cool. Clear is probably cool too. But anyways, I'll make that choice. I just returned from the home store, which just closed. I ran there at the last second. I got a series of nuts and bolts. So these screws here, I'm going to countersink and flush up with the top of the plexiglass. I wanted to get stainless steel, but they just didn't have stainless steel like what I needed here. So I just got these. I could always swap it out with stainless steel later if I choose to, which I doubt it will. Okay, so I'm ready to, to um, put this countersink of screw holes in here. So, got this thing hooked up. Now you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but take note that it's flush. This whole thing's flush. The rails are flush. Now I have a little lip here. Maybe now that I think about it, I should have let the overhang be a little bit more. Um, but that's cool. So check this out. I will have the fence to hang on to, but this thing is pretty tight. Gotta say. So as a quick little experiment, I'm gonna see if I can tap this um, glass, see what that does. So let's see if this goes in. Sweet, that's pretty nice. All right, so after doing some messing around, uh, I came up with something like this. This is just my sample piece. Now this piece, you'll see I tapped it inside the plastic in the glass, and this is a stainless steel bolt that's an inch and a half long. I had to do a big countersink to sink this into the to the main deck of the um, of the half inch thick plastic glass. So this is super tight. This is how this is how I'm going to do it. It's not going anywhere right now as it is when I pull on it, so it's going to be really strong with five additional, um, I don't know, screws or bolts, I guess they're screws, machine screws. Um, so I'm going to put them in the track and, and show you. Alright, so I'm at the saw. Here's my mocked up piece right here. Being able to tap it in there really going to open up the door for a lot of possibilities. Because I'm going to move forward now that i figured out the little system with this. I'll move forward and I'll get this going on. Here's what I'm going to do. When I put this fence on to square it up, I'll put one machine screw 
um, at the far end on each side and once that's on I know that this is perfectly um, this is in line with the body of the saw okay so in other words this plastic here is in line with this and this is in line with the blade most saws are double check yours but even if it's not a hundred percent in line if it's only within a sixteenth that's close enough to get you there so I'll put one screw here, one screw here. I'm gonna call that good. I'll take all this protective layer off. I'll cut the kerf into here. Then I'll be able to put the square on here and to adjust it. And the way I'm gonna adjust it, because this is tapped too. When I, when I do it, this actual half inch piece, I tap that as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'll be able to drill this hole out if necessary, um, oversize it just a little bit to get some slop in the fence itself like this on both sides just to get it to I mean if I have to go both sides but just to get it just so I could fine tune it and then once it's fine tuned I'll crank the screws back down the machine screws and then I'll tap the other two on each side because I'm going to have three on each side that is going to lock it in and once once I have three on each side locked in and I'm squared up I am ready to go and the cool thing is all I have to do is get the drill out couple screws I take this thing apart and I can modify it I could add to it okay so I'm going to pre-drill the holes that are gonna hold the fence down at each end I'll pre-drill these two first so I'll start off with the eighth inch bit all right I got bite so now as I go down I'll just ensure that I'm plumb I have some wood down here, so I'll um, land on that. Now one more over here. What I'll do now, since I have my holes drilled on each end, I will somehow figure out a way to clamp these down to be exactly two inches away, even from the face here. In my guide and since it's clear I can measure how far I have to go down how deep to drill the hole so in this case it looks like I am gonna go I'll say no more than two inches okay so what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of tape and I'll measure two inches up put a little bit of tape there it is so now as long as I don't go to touch the tape at all that's how deep I need to make them make it all the same Oh, it's fairly straight. Seems like maybe it got a little warm, but it's fairly straight. Yeah, hey, it's alright. So, I got one pre drilled, now I gotta get the other pre drilled. Alright, now how often do you get to see somebody drill through? You get to drill through the actual thing and see it go in. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see how good that is. Uh, seems pretty straight too. Uh, good enough, I think. This, I'm going to take a paddle bit and go down a little bit so that way my, my machine screw will sit flush underneath. You can see here it says flush below the actual bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take a paddle bit, go down about a quarter of an inch, maybe three sixteenths. And then I will begin the process of tapping the plexiglass itself. Okay, so in this case, I'm using a half inch paddle bit so that this head will go down and sit below the actual top. I'm going to use a smaller bit, I guess, just a little tiny bit smaller. That way, when I tap it, it'll give it more meat to bite onto. I think it's easy. Hope I don't jinx it. I 
I gotta use a much larger one and I have to go down maybe about a half of an inch here because my tap itself is only one inch. I need the tap to go down inch and a half or inch and whatever. So I just gotta go a little bit past here where there's no thread on the tap. So I won't even go that far, I see a quarter of an inch. Put the tap on. Right, here we go. Yeah. Hey, baby. Okay, I got it. The screw head is flush, and now my fence is on. What I'll do, I guess now, is put it on the saw. Check it out. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Okay, I can pick it up with one hand. A little heavy. Not bad. What big orange you want out? Okay, so I put it up here for the first time with the fence attached. Yeah, it rolls pretty good too. <laughs> I guess that's the cool thing. Okay, so now I guess I'm gonna have to fire up the saw, put the kerf in it, check for squareness. Just really make sure it's square. But yeah, I'm pretty happy still anyways. And I am stoked, this is awesome. All right, so wish me luck here. I'm about to make the first cut. Okay, so it's a dusty mess. This stuff is pretty messy. Now, I'm going to check it for square. I'll vacuum all this up too first. Okay, so I found a piece of pegboard, and it's about a foot deep. I'm just gonna use this to see how square it is, just to start off to see. If, if I'm 100% square with this, I don't have any problems with it, then I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it off and call it a day. Okay, so I made a couple passes here with this piece. So, see, this is the side that I cut right here, and you can see it's perfectly flush with the kerf, 100%. Well, when I flip it, I'm off a little bit. It's open down here on the right. So I loosened up this thread here on that nut or that bolt, and this one. I pushed this forward just a little bit. I kicked this one back a little bit. Now I'm going to test it again to see how square I am and hopefully it'll be good this time and I could go ahead and put the threads in here. So this is the piece that I have that I just cut. So if it's off, if it's not square, this piece will be out. Let's measure this, I guess. Let's see where I'm at first. And let's measure this. So I have heavy quarter and over here is Quarter. Okay, so if I put the micrometer on it, this is my piece here. So check this out. One side, if I do it just to where it stops, I got 67, 67, over and over and over, 67. Now if I flip the piece around, bring this side up, get it in there, let it focus again. I've got 65, over and over and over. So I'm off off by a little bit. 65, flip it around when the camera's in focus, get inside here, and 67. So I've got a little bit more tweaking to do. It's it's the side, it's the side right over here it needs to go push back this way a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this bolt out. Oh, it's in there. And this hole, I'm just gonna make bigger. Okay. Put this back. Okay, it's down pretty tight. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. Okay, okay, so I think I finally got it. Check this out. So check this out, I got it. On one side, hey, I mean, I'm right there. So you see that? 
and 34.9, 34.9, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 35.1, 
and this would be the fence okay just to give you an example so fence danger zone side so you think that would be cool this is just too much all right I'm gonna do it okay so I'll take my knife and I'll score the, end, the ends here this area along the track got the heat gun out Heat it up and see if I can get the stuff to come off. And here's what it looks like, it's a mess. It's good, good inside. Alright, let's take a look and we'll flip it over and see how it looks. I think this is just so funny. Let's take a look. All right. Yeah. Now that was a good choice I made to take that off. And actually, I like it like this, where the red goes past and you have the screws right there. Man. There's only one thing left, and that is to put it on the saw. Yeah, it weighs a pound or two. Man. That's a work of art right there, if you ask me. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's nice. This will be fun to do projects on. The designer table saw sled. Unlike any other. It's pretty amazing. I don't, I'm not gonna put a thing here just like I did with this one for your thumb to watch out because this is soft wood the blade probably will go right through or this when the blade hits that you, you'll know that it hits that and if I do in the future feel like I need something here which I could I'll do that if I want I guess maybe I could just use this piece I kind of wanted to use it for something else but I could I guess put it here and double it up all right so I just got it all in you'll see look how easy this goes after doing a few I see what the wood does when it gets here the wood swells okay it's really hard sometimes to slide it you know because it's like real like it's like the, like the wood would swell I don't know the wood swell and in the summertime um, after all the moisture is gone there's like a lot of looseness at the track so first thing I figured out, okay, I need to get rid of the wood and do something different. So that's when I got the aluminum pieces. Then, okay, I was thinking, all right, what can I use for the base? All right, I didn't really know what I could use for the base. I could just go find some wood, some quarter inch, until I was looking around for pieces and stuff and I ran across that bulletproof piece of glass. I mean, it really is bulletproof glass. This wood you see like in the liquor stores and stuff, um, or maybe bank or something like whatever. But, um, so okay, I ran across that glass. I was like, all right, well this, you know, all right, maybe I could use this for something, you know? I measured it, oh yeah, this would make a good fence. Then I got me thinking, oh man, what can I use for the base? Well, you know, several months ago, I got a couple chunks of this plexiglass, and uh, I used a chunk of the chunk that I got on a project in the main garage area um, by my wood stove on the wall. It's red, like, you know, it doesn't matter. But I still have some other scrap pieces left, a couple pieces that are big enough. I measure my saw, I measure the pieces. Whoa, okay, this is gonna work. So I'm calling this video, it's gonna be probably a bulletproof table saw sled, maybe. It could be the invisible table saw sled, but it's not gonna be exactly invisible. Or it could be um, 